Hey parents, sometimes when we help our kids with homework, we discover that things are being done a little differently than when we went to school. Even simple multiplication has some new methods and techniques. In this video, we'll show you how the area method for multiplication works. Consider the multiplication problem 42 times 6. The way I learned to solve this problem is with a technique called the algorithm method, which you may have just called carrying. Starting with the ones place, I multiply 6 times 2. The answer is 12. Of course, I can't just write down 12 in the answer. I place the 2 from the ones place here, in line with the other ones place. Then, I carry the 1 from the tens place and write it above the 4. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 1 we carried equals 25. We put that here, in the answer below. My answer is 252. That's the old school tried and true way, but some learners do have trouble with it. These days, there's another way for beginners to learn to multiply, the area method. First, draw a rectangle and split it into two parts. We're multiplying by 6, so we'll put a 6 here on the side. Now we need to write the number 42 across the top of our rectangle in expanded notation. 40 plus 2. There! I'm going to find the area of each of these rectangles by multiplying length times width. First, 40 times 6. I know that 6 times 0 gives us 0 for the 1's place. And 6 times 4 is 24 for the 10's place. This part of our rectangle has an area of 240. The other one is easy. 6 times 2 gives us 12 for the area of this part. Now all I need to do is add the areas of the two rectangles together. 240 plus 12. 2 plus 0 gives us 2 in the 1's place. 4 plus 1 gives us 5 in the 10's place. And this 2 goes in the 100's place of the answer. 252! That checks out! We got the same answer we did with the good old algorithm method. Now, I know some of you are wondering, why? Why can't teachers just do it the way I learned it? Well, the area method of multiplication provides another way of looking at how multiplication works. When teaching multiplication, it's useful to have different ways of doing things for different levels of learners. Some beginners may find the area method easier when first learning, then move on to multiplication with carrying later. We hope this explanation was helpful to you. If your young learner needs practice with basic multiplication, check out our What is Multiplication and Multiplication Wrap videos. You'll find links in the description of this video. Please subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss anything new. Thanks for watching!